seems like nobody's here for T.I. and his information about his daughter and her sexuality and the fact that he wants to get her hymen checked um, by the gynecologist. Um, she is of age, however, he is so involved supposedly in his daughter's life. He did an interview at the Red Table Talk with Jada Pickett Smith um, with Tiny without the daughter Deja and her mother there as a person that is actually going through that. Um, she's feeling her father is controlling. She liked posts that were actually against her father and really calling out her father's control issues. Um, she unfollowed him and Tiny on Twitter. Um, things like that is letting you know that the girl is not happy with being talked about. I don't want to say her name because it's all over the media and she seems like a private type of girl that doesn't want that kind of attention. But I think that um, on one end, being a protective father is great. Um, having somebody that's going to fight for you and not really take no for an answer when it comes to your benefit. But this is more of, I think, a super control issue because the, the control issue is the fact that he needs to know um, women can break their harm in a lot of different ways or little girls or for, for different reasons other than sex. And the fact that he's checking and making sure that she's okay is not right. I don't think he did that with his other daughters. So it's just strange that he would do that with her, the, the shy, the quiet one. Um, if he was joking or said it to be salacious in the media, he achieved that. Now he got everybody looking at him like a creep. He's not a creep. T.I. is not a creep. T.I. is a concerned father, but he just took it too far. And he needs to understand and, and admit that um, even if he was doing it, he shouldn't have told the world that he was doing that because obviously it was something that Tiny was accepting of him doing, um, being that she was in the household with him. Um, the step, the well, the mother of his daughter that he's doing this to, she's not happy with it. She was actually, um, she posted that a statement, oh, the narcissism. I'm trying to remember everything I've read about it. And um, I don't know. T.I. is hypocritical in a lot of different ways, but so is everybody. But he has a way of saying things as if he has not done something wrong or made a mistake. Um, not owning up to his problems and owning up to his failures or things like like that he needs to just focus on raising his kids the best way he can so he can trust them that's that's what it is and I, I don't think it's that he doesn't really fully trust her I think he can um he's doing it because he can and she seems like she had the kind of personality not to protest. She's not going to go off on her father and yell at him and say, I'm not doing that with you, man. <laughs> you know, um, I think that if he would have like phrased it a different way, if he would have not even went that far, I mean, he can just ask her, have an open forum with her. Are you having sex? That's basically what he wants to know. But I don't think she'll ever have sex now based off of just this type of control is kind of like emotionally damaging to someone. And if this was a violent situation or if this was a pedophile, if this was a person that, that took a girl off the street and violated her body this is not the same thing, but it sounds close to it. Having a father have examinations like clockwork of, of his daughter 
to make sure she's not having sex. That's a personal issue that he had and has. Um, I hope he learned his lesson. He's not doing nothing criminal. He can do anything within reason that he wants with his kids, but this is a person that's of age um, legally. So you let me know what you think. Um, is it okay for a TI to have his daughter examined to make sure she's not having sex or has not had sex? You let me know. My name is Darrell. Follow my social media handles. Subscribe to my channel. I have a book coming out called The Brown Paper Bag Boys and the Colorism Experiment. And I also have a book called Scare the Light, The Dream Memoirs of Russell Banks. It is out now. Um, go to my website, scareofthelight.com, so you can be a part of the contest and things that we have. All right, I will talk to you later. Peace.